Well, when you think of America's big company towns, the list doesn't run all that long. Name a few. You got Walmart, of course, Bentonville, yeah. Arkansas, Hershey's over in Hershey, Pennsylvania, 3M maybe in St. Paul. And then there's Cereal City with Kellogg's in Battle Creek. And that's where an earthquake of an announcement came today. Kellogg's is splitting into three different companies or three different bowls, as it were. Jason Colthorpe <laughs> traveled to Battle Creek today to find out what that means for the future. For you, the biggest difference will likely be a new company name at the top of the box of Fruit Loops or Corn Flakes or whatever you eat. Kellogg's will continue to make the snacks like Cheez-Its. You probably didn't even know they were making these. For Battle Creek, though, it means even fewer and fewer employees working here in the cereal city. You might be surprised to know Kellogg's cereals only make up about 20% of the company's profits, along with the plant-based foods division, which is headlined by Morningstar Farms. Those will become two new companies now, both headquartered in Battle Creek. These days, Kellogg's strength is in the snack aisle. 80% of profits comes from Pringles, Cheez-Its, as well as the Pop-Tarts and Eggo brands. That new company will move its global headquarters to Chicago and keep a satellite HQ in Battle Creek. You know, right now is, I think, the opportune time to do this. Despite more than a decade of declining cereal sales, Kellogg's CEO sees this as a chance for it to refocus its investment. When you have a Kellogg company that is 100% focused on cereal and just its cereal brands, doesn't have to compete with uh, Pringles or Cheez-It for resources. I think you'll see greater innovation. You'll see more brand building. You'll see bright days ahead of it. Matt Carrington worked for Kellogg's for 16 years and agrees this is a chance for these new companies and Battle Creek to grow because of the company's 116 year history here. W.K. Kellogg, uh, before he passed, split off uh, half the company over to the foundation. So it gives away over $250 million a year. So there's a lot of support uh, for the Kellogg Company here in Battle Creek, and I think we'll continue to be here and, uh, and what's in the interest of the citizens here. Kellogg still has about 2,000 employees working here since the major factory moved to Mexico back in 1999. Most of them work over at the HQ and will have the option to go to Chicago. We're in the Serial City today. Jason Colthorpe, Local 4.